right, boys and girls, and welcome to Garden Guitar. We had a great song here from Gracie Abrams. This one is called Risk. And I also watched this like a half year ago or so. She did some live appearance there on YouTube. I saw that one. So um, this is pretty much the new song here released. And uh, yeah, I will make you um, uh, do this with a capo here on the fourth fret to match up with the sound or latest release. But I also looked how she played in the live video there. So we're gonna look at that and mix it up together to get the right sound and feeling for the song. So Grace Abrams, Risk, let's go with the capo set here on the fourth fret to match up with the sound. So with that, we have a couple of chords to go over, but it goes in the same way through the entire song, so that is great. Let's first take a look at the G chord. So that is third on E, second on A, open D, open G, third B, and third E. The next chord is the D F chord, that is basically a D chord with an F sharp in the bass. So it goes like this, you can keep the bottom there from the G, you just recuperate your index and mid finger to this position, it gives you second on E, open A, open D, second on G, and then third B, third E. Then we have the A, and I keep that little ring finger there on the third B still there from the G and the D F chord. So it gives you open A, second D, second G, third B still, and then open E. And there you have the chords needed for this song. When I then go back and play a DF, I'm gonna show you that later, then I don't need to add a last E string, just some detail there, cause it's a fast change between the chords there, so that is the reason. But first, before we go into that, we're gonna learn the main strumming here. And it goes pretty fast, all right? So if we go back to G chord, you have basically down, down, up for three times, all right? So one run goes like this. Okay, so slowly it goes like this. And that is three times of down, down, up. What you're trying to do here is to play the first down on the bass string and the down, up that follows more on the mid top string area. So, bass, top, top. We need to divide this also into two different parts. So the first down, down, up will be part one. And then you have the down, down, up, down, down, up for part two, the last two down, down, ups. All right, so we need to get the feeling also for the rhythm here. It's not just plain three down, down, ups for one string around. There is a certain feeling here where the pause is a little bit short there in the end. It goes like this slowly, okay? A couple of rounds slowly of this string pattern. So there's a fast changer after the last third down, down up, you immediately come right back to the starting point here in a new string round. Uh, you don't have the break or the pause in between the down, down ups on the last one like you have between the first and the second. So down, down up, down, down up, down, down up, down, down up, okay, down, down up. Is the feeling you're aiming for, all right? So, like I said, we have one corporation through the entire song, so that's great. Once you learn the strumming and the feeling for it, then it's pretty easy. So, we're gonna go G, one full round, then DF, one full round, then A, one full round, then you're gonna play back to the DF. Now, you don't have to add all the strings down here. You go from this A, you can just go up to this position, all right? 
So you just move the index finger from the second fret D string up to the second fret E string. And you have what you need for this D F chord. And then you go back again to play the A there. So that is one round, G one full round, the D F one full round, the A one full round, then the D F part one, and back to A part two. So these last two chords, the D F and A, they split on one full string around. And that is the end, and then you just play that round and round. So G1, D F1, A1, then D F part one and A part two. Slowly it will be like this. Round. A couple of rounds slowly goes. You can also do some technical stuff here. When you come to the D F chord, you play G1, then the D F1. When you come to that, the first you can use this. So on every down here, uh, that down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. That first down in every of these three parts, you can hammer on. You can lift off. Play the first down on open D E string and then you hammer on so to get this uh, certain feeling that you have in this song and you can do the same with the A. You can lift off, play it with open D and then hammer on once you play it so. that note as well. That is some technical stuff. You don't have to start with that. Learn the basics, the string pattern first, the chord progression, and then get comfortable and then work your way up and do this technical stuff if you wish. That is Gracie Abrams Risk from the beginning till the very end. You play in the same way. Hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, play tuned.